And now live, it's your purple and gold action team from El Centro, California. It's the Fantastic Friday Newscast with Adrian Jimenez and Sabrina Herbert. Hi, and good morning. I'm Adrian Jimenez. And I'm Sabrina Herbert. And welcome to Fantastic Friday News. This past weekend, we've had a series of unprecedented events, such as with Jazz, Hosa, Weather, Chess Club, Justin Cordova's new school record, and with ASB. And now, live with Jazz Band, we take it to Isabel Dubois. Thank you, Adrian and Sabrina. Now I'm here with Mr. Yanni, director of the concert band. What did you accomplish this weekend? This past weekend, uh, the Southwest Band uh, received a superior rating at our local festival for the first time in our program's history. Dang, and how did that make you and the band feel? Uh, we were all super proud of the hard work and effort that all the students put in, and uh, we're thrilled that we were able to be there and to have that happen this weekend. Awesome, we can't wait for next year. Hi, I'm with Nicole Shu from the Chamber Orchestra. What did you accomplish this weekend? This weekend, um, we got a superior rating at the Scoboro Band and Orchestra Festival in Imperial High School. And how did you and your teammates work together to make this work? We worked very hard, uh, we love what we do, so we were able to pull it off and get the uh, top score. Thank you. Out to Danielle in the field. Thanks, Isabel. I'm Danella Avila, coming to you live. Hello, Southwest. I'm over here with Adrian, the chess club president, and why don't you tell us a little bit about what happened this weekend? Okay, so this weekend we went to Valencia and to the Super State Tournament, chess tournament, and we got first place in the school divisions. We also had Kehung win third place. Uh, we had the first and second best unrated player of the tournament, and this is very good for the team. All right. That is just amazing. Good job, good job. Now, how did that make you feel? Well, I feel proud of my team. Uh, we brought back first place, uh, second year, in the last three years. I think we can do even better. We can bring more places in individual players. And I'm hoping for us to do better next year. All right. Oh, I'm so sorry. All right. <laughs> now I just got one more question left for you, Adrian. Yeah. What do you got to say for all those people wanting to go for the chess club next year? Uh, to all those people, please join. Uh, it is pretty fun, very entertaining. Um, if you want to talk to anybody in the chess club, they will tell you that it's full, full of fun and you will have a blast. Very fun. All right, everybody. That was Adrian, chess club president. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you for your time. Now. Back to you, Kayla. Thank you, Daniela. I'm here with Mr. Spanos and Enrique Gomez. They recently just had a theater competition in Fullerton. So, Mr. Spanos, can you explain what you guys did in Fullerton? Yes, thank you, Kaylee. Uh, this weekend, Savapa Theater went and competed with 62 other schools in Fullerton, California. And I'm proud to say that we had a young man make it to a finals round, which is quite an accomplishment. We're very proud of Enrique as he placed in a top five in the category of contemporary dramatic monologues, a category that had 141 other entries. So indeed, it was quite an accomplishment. Thank you, Mr. Spanos. And how did you prepare for it? Uh, well, it just took a lot of practice with how I move my voice, my movements, everything, and how it all contributed together and then made a product. Nice. Uh, and lastly, can you give us your best dramatic face? Uh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Stunning. Yeah, thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you, guys. Back to Adrian Sabrina at the studio. <clears throat> How about that Savapa Theater? What an amazing accomplishment by Enrique Gomez and for our school as well. And how about that face? <laughs> <laughs> now we'll take it out to the weather with Gregory Sonaps. Yeah, thank you, Adrian and Sabrina. Live here, Gregory Synapse from the Southwest Water Basin. 
where we seem to be experiencing temperatures in a decline this afternoon. The wind has been kicking up, which is a nice cooling effect after temperatures nearly reaching 100 degrees last week. On other further news though, a heightened concern here at Southwest High School, people report, are the large scale amounts of trash receptacle deposits that seem to be lying around the ground. If you'll walk with me this way, Southwest seems to be witnessing and undergoing a significant portion of trash lying around. And school officials and administration are trying to document and plan out what they can do about solving this issue. Back to you. Thank you, Gregory, for that weather report. Now, how about that weather? I don't know whether or not I should wear shorts or pants tomorrow. Now, let's hope those clouds don't cloud your judgment. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'll take it out with Hugo Flores and the HOSA team. Hey, Southwest, this is Hugo Flores currently coming to you live all the way from the Culinary Building with your very own Alfredo Jimenez, a gold medalist at the California HOSA State Leadership Conference in the Dental Science Competition. What would you say was your biggest obstacle when preparing for this challenge? My biggest obstacle would be to prepare to compete in front of the entire state of California in dental science. Is there anyone you'd like to thank or acknowledge? I'd like to thank my classroom and for dental assistant for helping me prepare for this event. And I'd like to thank my teacher, Ms. Valdez, who helped us tutor for the event. Speaking of Mrs. Valdez, we'd like to congratulate her and give her a special shout out for not only being chosen as the Imperial County's Teacher of the Year, but for also being chosen as the California HOSA's State Advisor of the Year. What are your feelings, Mrs. Valdez? Um, I'm feeling really excited after coming back from our state leadership conference. It's always an exciting time to see our students demonstrating the skills that they're learning while in the Southwest Academy for Careers in Health Sciences. And what would you say are the steps required in order to lead your HOSA chapter to success? Um, really, it has to be about student motivation. The students need to be the ones to decide to compete and be successful at state leadership conference. Um, they have to see that they have a purpose to what they're doing and then while they're developing their skills they become passionate about their event. So for example with dental science um, the students really get together and they practice um, not only in class but they have study sessions and this year was something that um, we did differently. The students created YouTube videos to demonstrate the skills and they were able to watch that on their own time and reinforce the skills that they needed for the competition. All right, thank you, Mrs. Valdez. Once again, congratulations. I am now here with the new record holder, Justin Cordova, and his proud mother, Mrs. Cordova. But let's start with Justin. So what record did you break? The uh, long jump record for Southwest. And what was your long jump? Uh, 21 feet, two and a half inches. Wow. How did you prepare for this? Hard work. Well, thank you, Justin. Congratulations. And I am also here with this proud mother. So how do you feel that your son got this record? Oh, it was exciting. We just made it to the track meet in time to watch him jump. So we were very proud of him. Well, there you have it. A new record here at Southwest. Back in the studio. Now this past weekend, ASB participated in a car wash, which all proceeds went to Relay for Life. Relay for Life is March 25th all the way through the 26th. We hope to see you there. And that concludes our first edition of our fantastic Friday news. Stay purple. And stay golden. Make, Make it a, a good, good day, day, Eagles. Eagles.